So of lately, I've been covering a lot of content about the OnePlus 5T and I'm really, really glad that you guys have been liking it a lot. So what I've decided further is that, uh, you know, if most of you, I believe, have visited XT developers because custom ROMs and stuff, that is the one place to go to. So, well, there are a lot of ROMs that are still not reviewed, but then again, I didn't review them, especially because they are in their earlier development phases and there are a lot of bugs. But then again, what do you do when you want a stock experience with root and with a lot of modifications that you can get? Well, you have two options. One, you can install the stock 4.7.6 or maybe the Oreo beta, unlock your bootloader, throw in the Magisk module there, add some mods and bam, you have a customization of your choice. Well, if you don't want to go through all that hassle and you really, really want a tailor-made customized experience, there is an operating system or OS or ROM, whatever you want to call it, called FiT OS. Now it's downloading as we speak right now. I'm going to show you the quick install steps and then we're going to have a look at the preview. The main focus in this video will be at the Aroma installer, which basically opens a whole new world of possibilities. While the installation itself, you get a choice to make a lot of changes. So that is what is beautiful about customizable Aroma installer. Once again, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's install that customizable ROM on your OnePlus 5T. All right guys, so welcome to Smartphone Tutorials and what do we have today? As I discussed earlier, we're gonna talk about 5T OS, a ROM that is based on stock experience but looks at all the customizations possible. So let's go ahead and unlock our recovery here. And before we begin, I would highly recommend you to back up all your data, make sure you have more than 50% battery. And if you want to know how to unlock your bootloader, or if you want to know how to install TWRP, the link is mentioned in the description. You can go ahead and view that video, get done with it, and then probably come here. But then again, before we begin, let me show you, I have gone ahead and copied the ROM file into the internal memory of the phone. And right now I was on stock 4.7.6. And let's go ahead and begin the installation process. So first up, what we're gonna do is go to wipe, advanced wipe. We will wipe Dalvik, cache, system, data, and nothing else. We will not be wiping internal storage and let's go ahead and do that. So once the wipe is complete, you simply go to install, select the ROM zip, and swipe to install. Now this is where the magic happens. This ROM supports Aroma installer. So what that means is if you are new to this world, if you are new to routing and stuff like that, if you're new to the world of custom ROMs, you will have a full fledged installation menu. You will get to choose a lot of things and we're gonna cover just that. So this is the first screen, let's hit next. So it says install the one Fight EOS. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the boot animation. Okay, we will see how the one boot animation looks. S splash screen. So the OnePlus logo that splashes, we can change that as well. So we will keep them custom. Let's hit next again. All right, now this is an interesting menu here. It says selected apps will be removed. So I don't use Android Pay and all service. I will keep that basic dreams, calculator, calendar, Chrome, desk clock, drive icon pack, Google Duo is something I don't use. I love my Easter egg, Google Drive, Google Now and whatnot. So we will keep the remaining things and we have add away as well. So we can get rid of the ad. So let's hit next. And then what do we have? Debloat OnePlus apps. So the OnePlus apps that you don't need, you can remove them. If you don't need the file manager or anything of that sort, um, I think I will keep all of them. Let's hit next. Root install options, I will choose Magisk. You can go with SuperSU, but I prefer Magisk. And that to the latest version, 15.2. Okay, Magisk module permissive. This basically keeps your security level permissive so that's good so you get the option to choose the sound mod arise or dolby atmos from lenovo i will choose arise sound mod here 
Okay, so that's all the customization. The wizard is ready to begin the installation. All right, so the installation process will take about say one to two minutes at the most three minutes. It should not be a really, really long time. Meanwhile, let me just take this time to speak to you. What I would like to know from you guys is following my guides and you know, following the guides on XDA, looking at all the ROMs and stuff. What do you think? Which ROM is the best? Now, this thread is there on XDA. I want to know from you guys, which is the ROM that you like the most? Some like it stock, some like it custom, some like stock with minimal customization and stuff like that. All right, looks like the install, okay, is almost done. It would be interesting to see how their custom boot animation looks. Now in tomorrow's video, I will be covering a ROM which is not released yet on XDA developers or anywhere. I've got my hands on it. I would not give out the name of the ROM right now. But then again, do stay tuned. It will come out on Sunday evening, probably late evening. But then again, yes. And uh, I shared my thoughts on the OnePlus 5T, a personal experience. I've been using it for more than a month and including all the support and everything i've made a review which is also linked in the description do go ahead and check that out and do share your thoughts as well so the installation is now complete and let's hit no need to wipe cash or dalvik okay brilliant so let's hit next let's go to back to twrp and we will reboot system do not install so as always guys, this is the first boot, so it will take a while and if it takes more than a minute or two, don't panic, it will eventually boot. Okay, that's the new splash screen, looks good. Let's see what we have in the boot animation. So the red splash screen looks really, really enticing because I love the Star Wars theme. Okay, so it booted back into TWRP to probably process a script and if it asks you to decrypt and I'm using the Codeworks universal recovery here, that is the reason I was able to just put in my pattern and decrypt it. So just remember your pattern or password to the lock screen and you should be good to go. Okay, looks like that is the default boot logo. That is how it looks and it's more of a flashing icon but something is better than nothing but then again i still prefer the round the revolving dots or the revolving dot that we have as the oneplus stock boot animation now what i'm a little excited here about is when we get into the operating system you know a lot of mods are already installed and a lot of optimization has been done and to be honest uh, as much as i love custom roms and i love the aosp pure android experience built from source and stuff like that well when you get these roms which are based on stock roms and customized to the t you get a customizable installer that really gets me excited because you get a rock solid stable experience with all the mods that you can ask for all right looks like we have booted up there you go so minimum bloatware a lot of apps like if you install a stock rom for the first time you will see that you have a lot of things that are not required so this here is your viper for arise or viper for android mod that is a sound mod this is add away that we have this basically helps you get rid of ads Okay, Google Play is updating in the background. And apart from that, let's go to settings. Let's go to about. This is Oxygen OS 4.7.6, Android 7.1.1, the Phi TOS or the One Phi TOS 1.4 as they like calling it. Let's see if we have any changes in the camera here. Nope, looks all stock. 
All right, guys. So as this ROM is based off the stock Android ROM or the stock OnePlus ROM, there is not much that we can talk about. I will go ahead and use it maybe after Monday or after a few days as my daily driver, and I'll get back to you with a full review. But then this was the install and preview of the One Fifty OS. Which is based on complete stock experience and a few modifications. If you like the video, guys, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. Also, do remember the giveaway for the Redmi 5A is on. If the channel makes it to 4,000 subscribers in the month of January, I will be giving away a brand new Redmi 5A. Thank you for your time, guys. Goodbye.